Canada, a country of astonishing wildlife and breathtaking sceneries. This country is a melting pot of different faith and beliefs, with a large number of churches, temples, and mosques in every city. Canada's policy of multiculturalism and religious freedom ensures that all people are respected, regardless of their ethnicity, political views, and religious beliefs. This open-minded attitude makes Canada a welcoming and harmonious place to coexist. Vancouver, like other major Canadian cities, is a city of different faces, colors, personalities, and ideas. Every soul is precious and every religion is respected. For well over 25 years, Farsi-speaking Iranian and Afghan Muslims have been getting together like brothers and sisters at what became known as Gadir Educational and Cultural Center in North Vancouver, a Canadian charitable organization with absolutely zero financial or political ties with the Iranian regime and with one sole purpose, to hold cultural and religious events. On September 16, 2022, 22-year-old Masra Mini died in police custody in Iran after being detained for violating Iran's public dress code regulations for women by the Iran's morality police. Her death has since sparked protests all over Iran and across the world. These demonstrations have turned into the most broadly supported movement against the Iranian regime's brutality in more than four decades. On November 18, 2022, the Gadir Center was violently attacked by a small group of Iranians. These attacks have continued for two months under the guise of protesting against the Islamic Republic of Iran. Since then, the attackers have made numerous baseless accusations linking Gadir with the Iranian government. They have gathered at each event, harassing the attendees, physically assaulting, and openly uttering profanities traumatizing the children, and death threats against the members. They have also published hundreds of posts of defamatory materials and false accusations on social media against Gadir and his attendees. What you will see is just a small selection of their so-called peaceful protests. Viewers' discretion is strongly advised. There is a growing concern among Muslim community following a troubling incident at an Islamic center. Tonight, many are worried about a recent rise in threats and harassment, all stemming from events thousands of kilometers away. Oh, 
Ich habe ihn gesagt, ich To this date, at least five people have been arrested by the RCMP of North Vancouver for their criminal charges. More investigation and additional arrests are underway. The following surveillance audio video was openly recorded at the events in front of the Gadir Center. These footages show the actual intentions of these demonstrators, their religious discriminations and hateful harassments. Viewers' discretion is strongly advised. We have the name, pictures, they are in connection with IRGC, if you're any original, they are in connection with IRGC, if you're any original. You're supporting the Islamic regime. People of Iran are dying in the middle of the street, and you guys are celebrating engagement parties here? You are terrorist supporters. Why? Don't feel me. Why? Why? You are terrorist you supporters. Are support the they are, they are terrorist no. supporters. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, and what? I don't no. I don't You're harassing me. Why you are taking our picture? Okay, I'm gonna take your picture. Okay, I'm gonna take your picture. It is deeply troubling and unjust when individuals make accusations against others without providing any evidence to back up their claims. In Canada, it is important for individuals to be held accountable for their actions and words, because those who accuse others without showing evidence are not only doing a disservice to the accused, but also to the society at large. Why do we fight so hard for our own freedom, yet deny it to others? Why do people claim to value freedom, but then seek to control and restrict the freedom of others? Are we not all entitled to practice our own religion without fear of persecution or discrimination? Let's stop for a moment and think about that. 